Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna to be looking at the new Audi Q8. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this Q8. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Landon. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 3-liter V6 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 23 on the highway. With power outputs being 335 horsepower and then 369 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how it's very boxy with the design, but you do have this kind of like raised section there in the middle, how it kind of like pops up, it's pretty cool. Now I've got this new headlight design, which is a lot sleeker than the previous design, and it kind of like flows with the style a little bit more. And then with this one, you've got the chrome grill, and then look at the Audi logo, and <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. And then you can see with the venting there on either side, so putting it all together, it kind of has a more angular design compared to before. Around the side here, our time wheel setup is 285, 45, 21 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you've got the metallic gray there with the silver. That looks really sharp, actually. Nice painted fender flares. Notice the bodywork here is painted as well. You got that little kind of strip thrown in there, which is interesting. And you got chrome trim around the windows. And then here's the full side profile on the Q8. Now take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening here for the hatch and then the Audi logo. And popping into the cargo area, we have a cargo cover built in from the factory. And then this has adjustable suspension so you can adjust the rear to be lower or higher to help with accessing. And yeah, tons of cargo space. Now with the Q8, obviously it has its slope design so that does get in the way of vertical space just a bit. Anyways, when you're all done, just press this and that will lower the hatch right back down. Really cool taillight design, and you can see again with the Audi logo there. Q8 badge down below, got parking sensors, and then those exhaust tip covers are pretty crazy. But putting it all together, let me guys think about the design. Kind of has, again, more of a sleek, kind of more of a futuristic look now. Now taking a look at the door panel here, you can see soft touch and down below. Really nice stitching throughout. <laughs> it's got a little ashtray, that's funny. Um, window controls and shade controls as well, and then I like this trim around the handle. I think that's pretty nice looking. And look at these seats perforated all down the center portion. Got a nice trim on the outside. Legroom in the back's really good. Got a little storage net here. We've got some vents around climate zone in the back as well. And then we of course have our cup holder armrest kind of over engineered a little bit. And the headroom. Now take a look at the front door panel. Again, you can see a nice soft touch trim and down below. All of our window controls, mirror adjustments. Uh, the mirrors do power fold in. You've got your memory seat function, blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then you have these front seats, really nice bolstering and everything. And really nice trim as well. They have massage function. You've got your adjustments there on the side too. Light controls here and then nice trim all across the dash. Now take a look at the steering wheel, soft touch all around, and then you can see the stitching there on the center portion. Nice silver trim here. Paddle shifters there on the back for the eight speed, and then you can see practical controls like your voice command, volume controls, got controls for the center as well. And then tons of stocks, normal Audi fashion. Full digital gauge cluster here, and this is Audi's virtual cockpit, so you can change the viewpoint with it. So it's kind of like a cool thing to do. Now in reverse, this does have a 360 camera system, so it's trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel, and you can press this to see a cool exterior shot. And yeah, you've got angles all over if we do this viewpoint. So just overall good camera system. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, uh, this doesn't look like it's changed really. This is Audi's modern unit, which it has a bunch of stuff I have to accept before I use it. Sell your soul, and then you can use it. Uh, but yeah, it's easy enough to use. 
It does have the haptic feedback, so you have to like click into the screen. It's very weird. But you can see all the different drive modes that this comes with as well. So yeah, pretty cool setup. And then also notice how it'll change the suspension height depending on the mode you go into. And then we have our secondary screen here for the climate. Uh, essentially, you got heated and cooled seats with this as well. Like shortcut for the drive mode select, for example, stability control. And then you got parking assist with this. Then you can see there for the safety tech and your little volume knob. We have our nice little shifter here, parking brake behind that. Nice finish on the controls, by the way. Some cup holders and then wireless phone charging pad in the center console here. Nice trim on top and nice stitching on the side. Yeah, all this, I mean, it's very premium looking. You got a yeah, pretty big glove box. Uh, and then really nice headliner. I don't know if you guys can kind of see here the trim. Very premium, and then we do have a panoramic sunroof. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker for the Q8. You can see all the standard equipment. There's your base MSRP, 73,700. And then this one has some options like the prestige package. So I mean, that adds all the nice stuff, including the premium sound system. Anyways, 90,455 is the total MSRP. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both the mirrors to have blast monitoring, and then at the rear. And well, we're gonna have to reverse out kind of a little bit of a tight area. This will give you guys a chance to see that 360 camera system though. So, what I do want to start off with saying is I, I would say that this 24Q8 is more of a refresh rather than a full-on redesign um, which isn't a bad thing i mean audi's in a really good place right now with their cars in terms of the interior with materials build quality uh, i also think in terms of style i think they just look really sharp so not a bad thing definitely not a bad thing ttrs <laughs> it's a cool car it looks cool though it's got a very, it's got more of like the, I, I would say the one big difference is this kind of has more of a rounded finish, whereas the previous Q8 had kind of more of a boxy finish overall with the design. So a little bit different. A little bit different. V6 feels smooth so far. It's nice. It's nice. We'll see how the suspension does for here. It's kind of a little of a bumpy road. Yeah, com it's comfortable. Let's get that massage function going. Ah, that's nice. You just press the button and it does the, all the rest of the work for you. I always love it. I love it when cars have massaging seats. It's definitely a nice luxury feature to have. A smooth power delivery. I like it. I like it quite a bit. And it's a quiet cabin too. Uh, I've just done a good job with making their cars feel very luxury. Pop it in the dynamic mode just in preparation. But it's just a nice drive. And it's it's just it's quiet. I think that's the thing that I like probably like pretty pretty highly of this. It's just hush of the tones. It's nice. So it doesn't make you feel like you have to, I don't know, get, concede anything. It's a way to put it. Everyone's turning different directions here. Okay. Very smooth. 
very smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's got good power. Obviously, it's not the monster that the SQ8 and the RSQ8 are, but it's it's got good power. I think it's I think it's reasonable enough. So to cap things off with the regular Q8, I think it looks cool on the outside. A little bit of a different design, but I think it still looks good. Drives really well, and. It, again, like I said, it's more of a refresh rather than a redesign, which isn't a problem because the Q8's already a really solid car. So let me know what you think about the new Q8, and let me know if you like this style more or if you like the previous style more.